Hey everybody, it's Dowden. In this tune tutorial, we're going to be looking at extracting chains. It's going to be a quick and simple one, but it's something that I like to use in my arrangement and my producing because it makes me have a little bit better of a workflow, a little bit more of a visually appealing workflow, and it keeps me a little bit more organized. So I'm going to explain this to you, what I do in my productions, and hopefully you can take it to yours as well, and hopefully it'll work for you. When we're dealing with Ableton Live, we have instrument racks and drum racks, and in those racks, we have things called chains. In those chains are the specific samples or instruments what you're working with, and you can individually process those inside your chains list. You can add your processing devices into the individual chains. But sometimes it gets a little bit overwhelming when we have too many instruments in our drum rack, especially when we're dealing with MIDI clips where we're drawing in a lot of our MIDI information for our drums. What you can do is you can actually pull the MIDI information and all the processing from that chain and put it into a new MIDI track. All you have to do is click the specific chains that you'd like to drag the information out of. So right here I have Shaker 1. Shaker 1 is playing in my drum loop here. So I have MIDI information, velocity information, and then I also have EQ affecting the, the shaker as well. So I want to put this into a new MIDI track, so I'm going to right click and click Extract Chains. This is going to bring it into a new MIDI track. It's going to have all the MIDI information here, and you can see that it also brought over the velocity information. And then if I go into my effects rack, you can see that it also brought over the EQ. If I go back to my first drum rack, you can see that the shaker is no longer in the chains list, and it's no longer in the MIDI information. So we've extracted that chain and all of its information into a new MIDI track. This is great for when you're in your arrangement process, you want to keep things a little bit more organized. The one thing that we have to remember with this, I have a glue compressor on my entire drum rack. And now that glue compressor is no longer affecting the chain that I've extracted. So what I can do is I can take both the channels or all the channels that I'm going to be extracting and I can press Control or Command G and I can create a group. And now with this group, I'm going to take the glue compressor and I'm going to drag it from the initial drum rack, which was compressing all the drums, and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the group. So now this group is going to have any processing that I would have liked to have on all the drums or all the instruments that you had in your chains list. And now it's going to act as that rack to process anything that you'd like in your individual chains, in your individual MIDI tracks. Hope that makes sense. So if you're like me and you'd like to have your arrangement a little bit more split up this way, you can definitely be extracting chains. Just make sure that you're processing properly and putting your devices where they're supposed to go. If you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I'm going to be putting out more two minute tutorials like this one.